I love golf. It's just an expensive hobby. I mean, so I don't do it. it is. I used to play a lot of golf back in high school because we lived on the golf course. But after 18 holes of golf and it took four and a half to five hours, I always look back at that and go, I could have been so much more productive with my life in those five hours <laughs> than hitting a white ball into a hole. Why has it got to be white? Wow. <laughs>
like you really couldn't pick it up without falling apart in your hand. I don't know the what one lab kind of a... with a very high degree of confidence said, yes, we believe that we can non-destructively get it into a condition where we can scan it and do some tests, was the Imagine Ritrovata at the Chinatech Bologna in Bologna. I kind of saw it as if you have really one shot at this. And if you don't get it right, you may damage what you have, you may lose the ability to scan it ever again. We had to take out what was entirely burned. There were literally charred pieces, fused pieces, and it was really sad, but we had to know what we could save and what we were just leaving behind. When we had those pieces that could be saved, we moved it right away to Italy. Their first step was to physically get the materials this in shape. makes me so thing. freaking happy. They spent <sighs> thousands of hours First, rehydrating the reels so that they were less brittle and could be unrolled How are people safely so smart? without further damaging the image area. They decided to scan it sprocketless, which meant that it would, have, it would be very unstable in the gate on the scanner. No. Then they would do a test where they would take out the, the bad perforations and the bad splices and put new ones in. So then it could go through a pin register gate, which would make it much more stable. All of this work had to be done by hand, frame by frame, perforations by perforations. Every single splice had to be rebuilt. All of the my, tape my. had melted at a different rate from the underlying celluloid, which caused other kinds of things to seize up. And in the end, about half of the film from the first two films, I would say 40% of the surviving original negative from Hada Bunchali, and about 60% of the surviving original negative from Rajito were usable. Once we had a full assembly, then we started with six or seven months of uh, straight on digital restoration work. We're very fortunate that Criterion had a workflow to handle 4K restoration because this is an extremely expensive process. A 4K restoration of Indian features like this is almost unheard of to do in an archival perspective. It was really right. a partnership with Criterion that allowed us to do that. There were color grading issues, there were stabilization Yeah, that's the kind of thing you do for a feature that's going to get released, not archived. Different pieces of film to each other, stealing information yeah, from yeah. different parts of adjacent frames. By far the biggest job we've ever done. The most important thing we had to fix was that warping. Plastic doesn't warp in one way. Plastic kind of warps all over the place, which means if you lay it flat after you've warped, you end up with sort of a geometry issue. This was sort of a logistical nightmare for the computers to try to figure this out because hey, there's no checkbox for fix the geometry of the warp film here. That, that doesn't exist. So you have to come up with the idea yourself. <clears throat> the most important piece of restoration equipment is never the computer, is never the, the software being. that we're using. It's the person who's running the software and it's that person's experience. Our principle when we undertake a restoration is we would rather see original damage than see evidence of a fix. What you want to be showing on screen is something that feels like That's the beautiful. best imaginable That's print so could have been made from that original negative when it first Yeah, came show out. me a hair going up in the thing or a tear in the film. Wow. The way we look at movies, the way we watch movies has changed substantially over the course of cinema history. Modern audiences that are used to high definition video and super clear, crisp, clean images, dust and dirt and scratches would be something potentially so distracting that it would actually take viewers out. Not of if they are aware of. He's known for his narratives and is a very famous yes. filmmaker, but I think he's underappreciated as a visual storyteller. We preserve these films at their full visual quality, the full impact of the images, not just the stories. I do believe that right now, if you watch these films, you probably will have a better viewing experience than you would have if you went to see the print in the 50s. The satisfaction of then seeing these films. I'm confused. Open if some of them was lost, how do we have the whole film in New York? Being know. reviewed and discovered by a whole new generation of film writers and cinephiles. That's what we all did it for in the first place. Over the past 20 years, the Academy and its partners have been able to preserve 20 of Rice films. I'm very excited to move forward beyond the Apu trilogy and see what other films we can get done this way and bring them back to new audiences as well. That's so, so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I had the same thought of only 40% of the first film. Unless, unless it's just the original the canto, original, but So they have old copies of... Right. Uh, how did they used to play? 35 millimeters? 35 mils. Yeah. So they had other ones? Yeah, my suspicion is they had copies, which wouldn't be as clean as the originals, especially when you're going from film. That was my question, is if, if a bunch was lost, yeah. how do we have a trilogy 
of, discs right, set. Of, of all of it. And yeah. it must be, they were talking about the originals. Okay. The original film. Um, <clears throat> that's my supposition. Yeah. But it does, it gets me emotional to think of two things. To think of them doing this for this film and for this legend and this master of film to, and you know, granted, we know this by word of mouth. We know this by the Academy giving him an honorary Oscar. And we know this from the brilliance of just this, that one short film too. <laughs> we're gonna watch this soon. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna watch Don't the worry. trilogy. Um, and I wanna see everything of his. Yes. Um, in the middle of, I, I paused and I'm gonna start up again on my trip. I'm gonna be reading more of his book. Because uh, partly because I know a frame of reference that would help if you've seen his films in reading the book I'm reading. Uh -huh. But is he in here at all, or is it no? Because he's oh, it's no, not no. Hollywood. No, I can't imagine that he is not in that book. Um, well, because I didn't know because he's he's a uh, he's Bengali. Bengali. Yeah. So I don't know if it doesn't count because it's not Bollywood specific. I I, I can't imagine. It's, it's not in there. You can look through the contents. But my two things are the thought of them restoring his work and what that would mean to him. Yeah. But I'm also aware of how many cinematographers and directors, specifically directors, who don't have the kind of status whose work is lost that we'll never see again. You know? Yeah. Uh, and a really beautiful... One of my favorite films, if you haven't seen this film, is the film Hugo by Martin Scorsese. Mm. And that film is really, for me, a picture of what film and cinema means to Scorsese's heart. Because at the center of this, the story is about a movie maker. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I'm, I'm ready to revisit that film as we approach the holidays right now. <laughs> Hugo, Hugo, for me, is, is just a beautiful movie about love for film. Uh, and watching this gets me emotional to think about the lengths that people go to and it, it was it was an act of faith someone uh, why would you otherwise look at that and not think to yourself this is this is damage toss it yeah it's burned in a fire but somebody said at the very least let's save this and hang on to it because these are the originals even though they're damaged they're the originals but little did they know or maybe they did it by faith thinking maybe one day we will have the technology to save this which it's amazing. It's amazing that there's people that smart out there that can yeah. do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, they're not watching this channel, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, this was in 2015. Yeah, and the amount of money they pointed out, the kind of money that needs to be done just in the digital retouching, not just the restoration of the original 35 millimeter, mm -hmm. but the digital retouching for, for just archival footage, not something that you're 4K digital retouching that you're not gonna do as a major release necessarily. Uh, and that's, if you don't know that about Martin Scorsese, he has been an in instrumental part in this movement to preserve film. Not even film that was originally damaged, but just the recognition that anything shot on film as a physical medium is going to decay in the same way that they've tried to preserve literature and, and put it like, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls, those things are under certain ultraviolet kind of protections because just, the laws of physics make it atrophy and decay and go away. And there's a lot of film that didn't get damaged, but it's being damaged by just the elements. Mm. And Scorsese's big on getting all of that information that was on physical film put into digital format so that we don't ever lose it. I lost, film preservation is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Beautiful Absolutely. thing. Also, please let us know. Is it Rai or is it Ray? It's gotta be Satyajit Ray. And you know why I say that? Why? Because that's how Indrani pronounces it. Oh, okay. And she's Bengali. So, so it's Bengali. gotta be Satyajit Ray. Satyajit Ray. Yes. <laughs> it's too, right. They said Rai and then they're like, Ray. Yeah, well, Rai he's the only guy I've ever heard calling it Rai. Yeah. So maybe he's had a lot of rye bread recently. <laughs> But this is a really actually good video. Great video and, and no spoilers. No spoilers. 